Welcome to your latest weather update from the Met Office. Stormy conditions are on the way. Storm Dudley arriving through Wednesday. We have a Met Office amber warning in place across parts of southern Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England. Through Tuesday evening, an area of low pressure is going to bring some wet and windy weather across the UK. Then a very brief respite before Dudley arrives. And as those isomars pinch together there, that's when we're going to see those strongest winds for Northern Ireland, Southern Scotland and Northern England. But uh, we're not done there. Dudley will clear away pretty rapidly on Thursday and then eyes down to the southwest as the next storm approaches, developing during Thursday, uh, arriving across the UK on Thursday night and through Friday. Storm Eunice, still some uncertainty about the exact track, the exact intensity, but likely to bring some disruptive winds. More on those storms and the warnings in just a moment. But let's get through Tuesday night. First of all, clear skies across parts of the east will allow it to turn a bit chillier touch of frost in northern Scotland. Elsewhere turning wet and as the wet weather hits the cold air in Scotland there will be snow on the higher routes here. But the rain scoots across most places so for many it'll be a dry start to Wednesday and a mild start as well. Temperatures dropping pretty sharply through Tuesday evening but as the wet weather moves in temperatures will rise so by dawn uh, many of us will be at double digits, 10 or 11 Celsius to start the day. Colder air still across northern Scotland, so still some snow here on the higher routes. Uh, first thing on Wednesday before that slowly peters out. Dry and bright then for many across the Midlands, eastern England, southeast Scotland with some sunshine early on Wednesday. But here comes Storm Dudley, heavy rain moving into Northern Ireland by late morning, then into southern Scotland and northern England, spreading into parts of Wales as well. Heavy rain and ever strengthening winds. It's going to be a windy day throughout, but those winds just continuing to pick up through the afternoon and the evening. Again, some snow on the hills across Scotland, but it's mostly the rain and more particularly the wind we're concerned about with this storm system during Wednesday. It will be bringing mild air, so we start in double figures and we get up into the teens, maybe 15 across the uh, southeast, still a bit colder across northern Scotland. But there is the storm system. There is Dudley tracking its way across Scotland. The strongest winds on its southern flanks of the north coast of Northern Ireland, central and southern Scotland, parts of Northern England. That's where we have the amber warning in place. Gusts of 60, 70 miles an hour inland around coast and over hills, maybe a little more than that, likely to cause transport disruption. And certainly in the amber area, uh, the threat of power issues also. Dangerous conditions uh, by the sea as well with some large waves. The yellow warning extending into parts of Wales, the Midlands and across to East Anglia, particularly gusty uh, here for a time through the evening. And again, gusts of 60, maybe 70 miles an hour in exposed places could cause some issues. So that's Storm Dudley moving through and uh, bringing not just some squally uh, winds, but also some heavy showers zipping through, particularly over the Midlands, East Anglia, during the course of Wednesday evening. The showers will continue across northern Scotland through the early hours. The wind's slowly easing as we head into Thursday, but it's still a windy day on Thursday, but a bright day for many with sunny spells. There'll be some showers, particularly over northwest England and particularly northern Scotland, and we could see some wetter weather pushing into Wales and the Midlands later in the day. Uh, still windy, as I said, but temperatures um, still above average in the south, 10 to 12 Celsius for the north, closer to average, 6 or 7 degrees, and feeling colder with the winds. But the winds are going to strengthen further later on on Thursday, Thursday night and into Friday because behind me, first signs of Storm Eunice approaching, developing, intensifying on Thursday as it barrels its way up towards the United Kingdom. The isobars really popping out of that storm, very tightly packed. Some uncertainty about the track. It could be a little further north. It could be a little further south. So hard to pin down details of exactly when and where we're going to see the strongest gusts but Storm Eunice also likely to bring some snowfall, most likely across southern Scotland, Northern Ireland and Northern England, particularly over hills. So, yes, some issues to resolve with Eunice as we get closer to the time we will refine the warnings. But uh, for the time being, broad yellow wind warning covering uh, all of England and Wales. Northern Ireland and parts of southern Scotland from storm units. As I said, we'll fine tune the details closer to the time with that, but stay up to date basically with all the very latest from the Met Office. Best way to do that, of course, follow us across social media.